In today's video, we'll be comparing the bricks, bricks extras, and frames tabs. And we'll be looking at each of them and seeing how accessible they are and which one reigns supreme among all three. If you're interested, then let's jump right into it. For this video, I'll be using Bricks version 1.9.7.1. I'll also be using Automatic CSS version 2.8.3, Bricks Extras version 1.4.8, and Frames version 1.4.6. I want to say a big shout out to Brendan for hooking me up with this setup. He provided a setup for me to use for this test. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. He does a lot of Bricks videos and so many other videos that are important to the WP ecosystem. So you can go ahead and check him out. So now, to activate the Bricks Extras Pro tabs, you can head over to Bricks, Bricks Extras, and then when you go down, you see the option for Pro Accordions as well as the Pro tabs, and you can activate those. While for the frames, you have to go over to Automatic CSS, then go to Automatic CSS again, then head over down to Frames, and then within the frames, you should see at the bottom, it has the components. That's where you have the accordion and the tabs, which is in the release candidate, I believe. So I activated those two. And now I'll go ahead and show you the finished products. I will be doing the test. We're using the five point test. I will start with the HTML test. Then I will throw in an automated test. Then we'll go to the mouse test keyboard test, and finally, we use a screen reader test. So now, let's jump right into the examples. So here we have the three tabs. The first is the Bricks tab, then followed by the Frames tabs, and finally, the Bricks Extras tabs. And then we'll go through the test. If you've not watched my previous video where I showed you how to do the test, then please, I'll encourage you to go ahead and watch it. I'll leave a link to it in the description, and you can see a card popping up somewhere soon. And it will give you an idea of how to test for the accessibility of your tabs. So now we'll do the first test, which is the HTML test. So let me go ahead and right click inside the tab interface, and then inspect it. So this is for the first tab. This is basically the standard tab. This is the nestable tab. So for the standard tab, let me see, it's using the ULLI structure. So that's the second version but clearly there's a big problem it has no extra information just basically ulli there is no role equal to tab list no role equal to tab there is no area selected there is no area controls no area labeled by there is no tab index so basically the conclusion is that these are not tabs these are just basically a set of elements that have interactions and i'll prove it to you now when we go ahead and check the accessibility tree Let's go ahead and click it. And then let's look at it. Basically, as you can see, rather than having the role of tab list and the role of tabs, it's having a role of list and list items. So basically, clearly, these are not tab lists. No assistive technology will be able to decode this as a tab list. So there, that's the problem. There is just list and list item. Then even the tab panel is also a list, which it's already a problem because, as you can see, this is a list with just one list item because all the other items are hidden. So you shouldn't even put it in a list because the items are hidden, one. And two, think of a tabbed interface as a table of contents. You know, in your page, you have a table of contents which has the links to each of the headings. But then your sections themselves, you don't put those sections in lists again. Those sections are just sections or... They have the H and the paragraph tag and so on and so forth. You're not supposed to put that inside a list. You just put it in a group or a section or a div or whatever is the ideal case in that scenario, not list. Because like I said, using a list here is just going to show you only one item and then to be announced into a screen reader, list with one item when there are four items there. So that's not nice. So you shouldn't use this in a list. So that's already a problem. So we'll go ahead and test the second one. Let me... Test if the second one is better. 
the second one is the same. It's even probably even worse. It's just basically all divs. So a div within a div. There is no buttons. So this is a worse version. But the good thing is that since it's nestable, you can easily change your IDs and things like that and try to change it into a tabbed interface. And I believe Alan Blair showed how to do using JavaScript to make this into a proper tabbed interface. I'll leave a link to the video in the description so you can go and check the video out. But right now, this is not a tabbed interface. So let's go ahead and test the next one, which is the frames tabs and see if it's better. Let me right click, then I will inspect it and see how it works. So, okay, so we have the URL with the role equal to tab list, which is correct. We have the li with the role equal to tab. Yeah, that's also correct. So those are correct. Then the tab panel, this is going to be a problem again. It's using the ULLI tag, which I don't agree with, but if you think I'm wrong, you can leave it in the comments and tell me why you think I'm wrong. It has the UL tag and then it has allies and those allies have a role equal to tab panel. Okay, so at least it has the tab panels and then the tab list. So, okay, those are correct. But then there's another issue here. It is wrapping everything in a nav tag. I'm not sure where that came from because I don't know which specs shows that we should put it in a nav tag. And if you if you're putting in a nav tag, then you have to also add in a name because you shouldn't have multiple navs on a page that don't have names. So this will throw up an error with the accessibility technology, even though it may not flag it for being the wrong role, but it will flag it for not having a name, I believe. So that's what I don't believe with. So let's go ahead and see the accessibility tree. Click on it. See from the accessibility tree, you can see there's a big problem here. Basically, these are not really connected to each other. It is now showing this as a navigation. Like I showed in my previous video from the different examples, it should always be tab list, tab, and then the next thing should be the tab panel. Shouldn't be wrapped in any other semantic element or else it is not going to sound nice to some screen readers and some assistive technologies. So I'm not sure this navigation should be there. But yeah, we have the tab list. And then let me see. Okay, have I selected true here? Correct. The others are false, which is correct. And then the tab panel, focusable, true. Okay. So at least the HTML itself looks okay. Just that I don't agree with the list because this is not the list because now it's even going to throw another error, which I will do an automated test to confirm it. But here you can see it shows a list, but there is no list item. A list should always have a list item. But because we're using the role equal to tab panel, that overrides what the UL does and then it's going to announce some issues. So I will do an automated test soon. But let's go and jump over to the next one, which is the Bricks Express. Let me go ahead and right click it, inspect it, and see if it's better. So this one, they don't use the nav, which I, yes, I agree with that. I don't think this should be enough. So we have the UL tag, yes. And then that has the role equal to tab list, okay. Then we have the LI tag, which has the role equal to tab, okay. And so on and so forth. Then it also uses a UL LI structure. So I'm guessing this is a bricks problem rather than an add-on problem because all of them are using the same UL LI structure, which I totally do not agree with. But at least within the LI, Okay, so it now has, okay, so it has a tab panel within the UL LI structure. Okay, so maybe that's something I missed. Okay, I will check the accessibility tree to see how it looks like. But I can clearly see there's going to be a problem here because we have another thing with the role equal to tab. I'm guessing this is for the accordion. Yeah, this should be for the accordion. But a role equal to tab cannot exist outside of a role equal to tab list unless you use an area owns property. So this is going to throw an error to a automated testing tool because you should not have a role equal to tab outside of a role equal to tab list. Then what else can I see? 
I guess we'll test the rest as we go along with the other tests. But let me go ahead and see the accessibility tree. From the accessibility tree, you can see okay, it has the tab list and then it has the tabs and they all have their names, which is okay. Then focusable. So area selected is true here. The other ones are false. Okay, that's correct. Then right now, only the first two are showing focusable. The others are not showing focusable. So maybe I did something wrong when I was creating those tabs. So I will only test the first two because ideally all of them should have focusable equal to true for all four items. So that's that. Then the other one is has that issue with the list and list item. At least this one is going to show you that there are lists with four items, I guess. Because the role is not on the list item, but it's on the tab panel, which is a div within the list item. So this will be okay. So yeah, I guess the Bricks Extras uses a better structure than the other two. So in terms of the HTML, I will give the Bricks Extras a higher score than the other two. So now let's go ahead and we'll do the next test, which is the keyboard test. Or I'll start with the mouse interactions first. So let me close this and go start to the beginning. Like I said, this is not a tab, so I don't even know why I'm still testing it. But let's just go ahead and do the mouse interactions. Yeah, the mouse interaction works. They all work. Okay. Let me check the other one. Let me close this. And test the mouse. So for... Oh yeah, it has a nice way that it tracks the focus to move around. So that's nice. If you can notice it, I don't know if you can notice it, but basically the borderline that I put is moving nicely to the next one and you can see that movement in focus so it will help your eyes to know where the focus is. So that's good. Let me check the last one and try that again. Okay, so it's slightly similar, I guess, because this one also does, does something similar. So I'll give all of them a pass for the mouse interaction. Although I think I like the frames one better because it's that nice movement. So yeah, all of them a pass. So now we'll go ahead to do the keyboard test. We'll start with the bricks tabs to see if it is keyboard accessible. And that is one of the requirements that your entire website should be keyboard accessible. So let's see. Let me now tab. So I'm on the last focusable element before the tab interface. When I press the tab key now, you should go to the first active tab panel. To be sure, let me just put the tab panel to be the second one. So now, when I press the tab key now, it should go to the videos tab. It shouldn't go to the home tab or any other one. It should go straight to the videos tab. So press the tab key. And it just jumps all of them and goes to this element because this is the element that has a focusable uh, state by default. Because they forgot to put the tab index of zero on these elements, that's why it is impossible to tab to them. So they are not tabs. So I don't think I can do the screen reader test for this because it will not work. So let me go to the other one. And now we'll do the same thing with the keyboard test. Before I do the keyboard test, like I said, I was going to do the automated test for this. So let me right click, inspect it. I'll use Axe Dev Tools for this test. So have it there and I just scan the entire page. I just want to confirm my suspicions. So let's see the first one. This is about contrast, so that's with my own issue. The other one is discernible text. Where is that coming from? Okay, that's still my problem. So I'll close that. Next one is this. Like I said, yeah, that's the problem. Like I said. Because we use the li to have a role equal to tab panel, the ul now becomes an orphan because that's why it says must only directly contain li's. So that is, the, the, although it has an li, but once you put a role equal to something, it changes the semantic meaning of that li. That li is no longer an li. It's now seen as a tab list or a tab panel or whatever role you put onto it. So that's why it's throwing this arrow. That's why I say it's not necessary to put ULLI tags for this. 
that's why you print the error for all of them for all of the contents then the next one area rule should be appropriate for the element so let's see what's that so allies cannot have a role equal to tab panel so that's another problem so don't put an a role equal to tab panel on an ally so these are just confirmed my subscription so the two problems are already popping up here so then what else is there landmarks are unique so that was the other one i said about the nav the nav should have a name if it's even supposed to be there they should have a name otherwise it is not correct so that's the third problem and then what else then okay that's my problem because i didn't put an h1 tag so those are the three problems the nav is throwing an error the ul li structure is throwing an error for the tab panel so that's why we shouldn't use those so now we'll do the keyboard test so let me start with the keyboard i'll try to focus so this is the last focusable element before the tab panel let me as usual put it on the second one so that if i tab it should go to the active tab panel so the videos tab not the home tab or playlist or community tab it should go to the one that is selected so i press the tab key and we have our first and in fact our second problem basically it is setting the focus to the first element within the tab list which is wrong so i'm guessing there is a problem with the tab index so let me inspect it so let's see how the tab index are so all of them have a tab index of zero which is wrong here it should only be the active elements that have a tab index of zero the others should have a tab index of minus one so that means they are still focusable but only using javascript so that is where this is wrong the tab index is not done in the proper way but i guess it should be an easy fix in the javascript then what else this is not how a focus outline should be i'm not sure if it is something that i set up it might be my own setup but this is not a focus outline in fact in the wcag 2.2 i believe they've started coming up with a rule but i think it's for the triple a rule but that it should be a border or like an outline and it should be at least two pixels thick that is the requirement so this one line i'm not even sure so how do we tell if it is actually for this tab and not for the second tab i'm not sure okay so it does a two line for the second tab but i wouldn't agree with this it should be ideally a border around it completely so maybe it is something i set up if it's something i set up please help me know in the comment section what i did wrong and how to fix it but i don't think this is a focus outline but Another issue I didn't even notice that I was doing is that I'm pressing the tab key and it is moving focus to each of the different tab index because of that tab index of zero. So it's now using the tab key to move focus between the tab list items and that is wrong. It should only be the arrow keys. So the problem with this is that because this is the active tab panel and we're using the automated activation, if I press the tab key, I'm going to the second one, tab key again, the third one, fourth one and then now i'm focusing on the tab panel but it is for the fourth item not the first item so for the keyboard user he will have some issues because ideally in a tab interface you can go and check it out you can use i think youtube the tab panel there are also tabs so you can test it out there and see how theirs work it should be the arrow keys that move between the tab list but from the tab to the tab panel you should use the tab key no other key should be listened to because the up and down arrow keys should not have any event listener on them they should be used for their default purpose the left and right arrow keys should be used to move between the tab list items and then the tab key should be moved from the tab list or the tab itself to the tab panel so that's already a fail here because the tab key is moving focus among the tab list items because of the tab index of zero and then what else let me see the left and right arrow keys now okay yeah the left and right arrow keys are also working are they cycling let me see okay so when it gets to the end it cycles back to the first which is correct then let me go to the back 
arrow keys. Okay, yes, that's also working. And press the home key, the end key. Okay, those are not working because you didn't set that one up. But those are optional, so it's not really necessary. Because optionally, you can put the home key to move to the first item, tab key to move to the last item in the tab list. Then let's see if the up and down arrow keys are listening for. We should not have any event listener on the up and down arrow keys. So let me see up. Okay, maybe then let me see down. That's where the okay. So now I see what he's doing. He's using the down arrow key in place of the tab key, which is wrong because the down arrow key should not have any event listener. He should be using the tab key, not the up and down arrow keys. But I think he's using the up and down arrow keys to move focus from the tab to the tab panel. So that's not that's not the right way to do it because now for items that don't have any focusable element within them, I cannot use the up and down arrow keys to get access to those tab panels and that will be an issue for a screen reader user so that is so many issues here so now let's go ahead to the bricks extras one and see how theirs work so let me move it to the second one okay there's the tab key again so now when i press the tab key it should go to the videos tab and then focus on it so let me press tab key yes that's it it focuses on the videos tab and I get my standard outline, which is easy to see. So yes, thumbs up. It might be better in, I think, the W3C1, they decided to put the focus on the videos itself. They removed the focus from the main panel to the video, so that it's easier to know what is being focused on. But I think this also works. Now we try with the tab key again to see if we go to the tab panel. So let me press the tab key. I'm not sure where I am. I'm guessing I'm on the top panel. The only way to know is if I use a screen reader. So, but let me go back. Maybe I forgot to put a focus outline on the panel. I'm not sure. Let me now go to this one and test it again. Let me press the tab key. Okay, so it's focusing on the fo first focusable element on the page. Let me try with something else. Let me go to this one and see how it focuses. Okay, so, so I guess if the first element is not the focusable element, it is focusing on the entire group. I don't know how they did it, but I guess it works. So we'll see how well it works with a screen reader user. But the whole idea is a bit dodgy because ideally it should focus on the tab interface if the first focusable element is not the one that is first on the page. So there is something dodgy here because ideally you just have a focus on the entire panel. Unless this element is the first item on the page, then you should focus on that item. But it is doing well, I don't know. But yeah, the left and right arrow keys are also working. So that's correct. Let me press. Let's see. We're now at the end. If I press the right arrow key again, it goes back to the first one. So yes, that's perfect. If I press the back arrow key, when it gets to the first item, she recycle back to the last item. And yeah, that works. Let me try with the up and down arrow keys. There should not be any event listener for the up and down arrow keys. So up, unfortunately, is doing an event listener for the up and down arrow keys. And it's creating some issue. I don't know if you are noticing it. If I press down, it is both moving the focus on the tab panel as well as the screen is also moving down so there is something definitely weird going there so they need to fix it basically they need to remove the event listener for the up and down arrow keys when it is in the horizontal way but only when it's in the vertical way then the up and down arrow keys should have an event listener then let me see the home and end okay doesn't listen for that as well so that's optional so it's not important so that's it i think this one seems to be the best one but now i'll do the automated test to prove that my point about the ulli tag and that role equal to tab that is inside a list so let me right click it inspect i think this was the so basically the issue i said i had is that 
the tab panels there this is an li and then within that li it has two divs one div has a role equal to tab and the other one has a role equal to tab panel the role equal to tab is a rogue item so it will cause an issue so let me use ax dev tools or now scan the entire page and okay i can ignore the first one ignore the second one the third one Ensure landmarks are unique. So what landmark did they use? Okay, that's one landmark. Where's the other one? Okay, I guess this has issues with the... Maybe there are two navigation within there. So this is... One is for the nav wrapper. And... Okay, the footer... The footer also has another nav. So I'm guessing this footer somewhere, there's a nav there and there is no name for that. So that's why it's throwing an error. So that one should be fixed. Then the last thing is the page heading. So okay, it's not showing the error for the tab list and that's simply because it is hidden. So if we try to go down into the mobile view, so let me just set it to uh, maybe... 760 okay and then let me run the test again so yeah that's where it's now through the error because it was hidden when we were in the desktop view so that's why it didn't throw any error but now that we're in the mobile view it's no longer hidden that's why it's now throwing the error about that basically using that role equal to tab you shouldn't use a role equal to tab on an element without having the parent being a role equal to tab list. So that's the issue I found there. You can use Ask Dev tools. Make sure you test on different screen sizes when you hide things. So it now give you the errors for those screen sizes. I didn't think about that initially. So those are the issues that I found with the use of the keyboard. So I think in terms of the keyboard usage, Bricks Express has the best one. The only thing that they shouldn't listen for up and down arrow keys and the focus should be on the tab panel itself, not on, I don't know where they were focusing on, when there is a link. It should be on the entire tab panel. Then they should also remove that role equal to tab when it gets to accordion. So that's it. So now let's go back. For the frames one, they should fix this focus outline. I'm not sure what this is. Then they should do the tab index so that it is minus one for all the other elements except the active one. Then they should not listen for up and down arrow keys. That is the job of the tab key. The tab key is the one that moves focus from the tab to the tab panel. They should also make sure that all the tab panels have a tab index of zero. You shouldn't be using minus one or whatever. For the tab panels, is tab index of zero. For the tab list, all the others should have minus one. Only the active tab list item should have a tab index of zero. And I think if there's another one I, I remember, I, I'll write it in the description so that they can go ahead and fix it. But yeah, for the final one now, we're going to do the automated test and see how it works. I can just basically ignore the bricks tabs because I will not be able to even access the tab list, so there's no point. So let me now do for this. I will open up NVDA. I use the shortcut key, Control Alt N. You can use VoiceOver if you are testing it yourself. Frames tabs. Okay. So now it's on. Skip to banner navigation landmark main landmark frames tabs heading level three. Okay. So now let me press the tab key again. Davden.co.uk visited link. So now I'm on the link just before the tab interface. So now when I press the tab key, I already showed you that it's not going to work, but ideally you should move to this videos tab. When I press the tab key, home tab selected one of four. It says home tab selected one of four. So that tells us, okay, there are four elements and then I'm on the home tab. Let's now press the left and right arrow keys. So right. Videos tab selected two of four. Playlists tab selected three of four. 
Community tab selected four of four. Okay, and if I press again. Home tab selected one of four. Go back to the first time that works. So now the tab key is supposed to move my focus from this to the tab panel, but unfortunately it did not work. So tab key. Videos tab selected two of four. Playlists tab selected three of four. Community tab selected four of four. Only when I press the tab key now again. List with one item community property page. The section just randomly throws a. F so see where I pointed out that arrow. That now it tells me list with one item because they are using a ULLI tag which is not right. So that's why it's telling me a list but with only one item. But what is information is that giving me? Nothing. So Navig play videos ta home tab selected one of four. I press it down arrow key now. List with one item home property page latest videos visited link. So it takes me to that home properties page, latest videos visited link. So it announces it nicely for me. The only problem is that out of list, list, commute, play, videos tab selected two of. So here is the problem. Now I'm on a tab that doesn't have any focusable element within the tab panel. How, as a screen reader, can I read that tab? panel. Ideally, I should have used my tab key to get access there, but nothing will work. If I press the down arrow key, nothing. If I press the tab key, I move to the next element. If I press left and right arrow key, I can't get there. So literally, I have no access to that tab panel. So that's already an accessibility failure. That's why we use that tab index of zero, and then we push the focus from the tab to the tab panel because every other element has a tab index of minus one, only the active tab, and then that goes to the active tab panel because all the other tab panels have a display none or area hidden and things like that. So that's why we can easily move focus from the tab to the tab panel. So for a screen reader user, this is not fully accessible because I cannot access it when there is no focusable element within the tab panel. So now I will go ahead and test the last one, which is the Bricks Express. Courageous Bricks Courage. Skip to ba navigation land main landmark Bricks Extra Davden.co.uk visited link. So I'm on this. Let me now press the tab key. I should go to the playlist tab. So tab tab control playlist tab selected three of four. So see, I'm on the playlist tab. Is selected and is the third one out of four. So yeah, that works. That is the nice way to announce it. If I press the tab key again, I should either focus on the tab panel or on the first focusable element. So in this case, ideally it should be the tab panel. But let me press the tab key. List with one item playlist property page. The playlist section visited. So it also creates that problem. It's telling me list with one item because all the other items are hidden. So that is why you shouldn't use a ULLI tag because the information is not really giving me a, a good information. It's telling me list with one item and it is focusing on an element which is not the first focusable element. So as a screen reader user, I may have missed some important information before that element and that will be lost to me forever because I may not remember to press the up arrow key or the down arrow key. And let me even see if the up arrow key works. So up. Heading level four playlist section. Okay, so the up arrow key was so you as a visible reader, you can see that there is something before the focused element. But as a screen reader user, I may not know that there was something before the focusable element, so I have no way to access it. So that's why just put the focus on the tab panel and forget about it because we are in a page builder world. In an ideal world, you put a linked item as the first item on the page, which let me just show you an example. Let's exit this. X I will say W3C the patterns for tabs and within that let me look at the manual activation and you see the example when there is the first focusable element it has to be the first element that is focusable it's not any other element in the page it has to be the first one otherwise if you look at the second example when there is no focusable element, then see, let me quickly go there. If I press the tab key, 
the focuses on the panel itself, not on any element that is within the page. If the focusable element is not the first item, then focus on the panel. That is as straightforward as it can be. So let me go back. And yeah, so let's see. Let me open the screen reader again. Skip to banner landmark. No navigation landmark. Main landmark bricks extras tabs heading level three. Davden.co.uk visited tab control videos tab selected two of four. So now, now we don't have any focusable element here. Let's see if we can get access. So I'll press the tab key. List with one item videos property page videos section heading level four a curated list. Okay, so it's is able to get access to the tab panel that doesn't have any focusable element. The only problem is just that list with one item. So that's the main thing that they need to fix here. They need to remove that ULLI tag. That is not necessary. And they should also remember to fix the role equal to tab. That is throwing an error when it gets to mobile, when it gets to the accordion version. In fact, I'm not going to talk too much about that because I'm still having a debate of how best to move from a tab to an accordion. When you move to accordions, typically they don't sound as proper accordions to screen reader users, but I'll leave that for another day. But let me now exit this. Exit N. And my conclusion is that the best tabs for Bricks currently is the Bricks Extras tabs, although they also have some issues. But the other two, they don't follow the keyboard interaction because of the rogue tab index and other things that are there. But with the Bricks Extras tabs, it looks like it is the best that a screen reader user can use, although it also has its issues, which they need to fix. They basically need to just go to that W3C APG patterns and follow it the way it is there. Just follow the structure, how the keyboard interaction should be, how the different area information should also be. Everything is there stated so that you can easily follow it. So please follow that. And thanks for watching. In the next video, I will be looking at some other blocks or page builders. So let me know in the comment section which one you want me to test next and I'll look into it. So thanks for watching. Bye.